What's going on everybody? Chump Change XD here. Welcome back to the Chump Change channel. So, as you guys saw, we just tested the 3060 and 3070 Ti's, the light hash rate ones on NB Miner. And this thing's been holding stable for the entire day actually. It's been almost 24 hours at this point. It says 21 hours or so right about now. Zero rejected, zero invalid. There's the power limit for the guys that were asking. There was 200 on the 3070 Ti and 129 on the 3060 Ti. Obviously that's in the software. So what I want to do in this video is I flashed Hive OS onto this USB. I want to get this rig up with Hive OS and let's test out NB Miner with uh, these two cards inside of it. We'll try to mimic the clocks and see if we can get just about the same results because I'm pretty happy with what we have here. So let's try it. I'm just gonna stop the miner. You basically just exit out to stop it. We'll let these cards run for a minute just to cool them off. I'll shut this down and then we will uh, install Hive and see what happens. Plug it in Hive, we'll power it on, and we're gonna spam the delete key to get this thing into BIOS. All right, so we're in the BIOS. Now we have to go to settings, I believe. Gonna go to boot. So I think we're gonna change boot option one. All right, so we'll change the boot options, number one, to the USB. Boot option number one is now the USB. So let's hope that is the correct one. Now I am going to exit out of here. So it's basically telling me that the boot options have been changed. So I'm going to save this, yes. We're gonna let it boot up and we're gonna see if it gets into Hive. And there we go, we're getting Hive OS. All right, so it's been about a minute. Oh, weird. It didn't have the loading screen. All right, well, now it's uh, finally up into Hive. So what I need to do now is basically set up the Wi-Fi because I don't have a hard line to the back of this computer. I just have the Bluetooth Wi-Fi antenna. So right here, it says Wi-Fi SSID pass. It says set up Wi-Fi if available. So basically what you do is you come down to the bottom here and you type in Wi-Fi. And literally it says no LAN. So that means my normal motherboard Bluetooth and Wi-Fi adapter didn't work. So I had to plug in a USB Wi-Fi adapter and then I typed in Wi-Fi and boom, all this stuff came up. Down bottom there's options with my network and it has a number next to it. So what I have to do is now type in the number, hit enter, type in my password, hit enter, and then it should be on Wi-Fi. So let me finish doing that. Gonna get this rig connected so I can remote in. I'm actually gonna go downstairs in the studio. We're gonna record this on the computer, setting up a flight sheet and getting this thing mining. So give me one second, I'll get this hooked up and we'll be good to go. As you can see, Wi-Fi setup is done. We are connected to the network. So let's get into the studio and test this baby out. All right, so we're here in the secondary farm that we have. Let's create a new flight sheet, shall we? Let's do Ethereum. We're going to go to my Exodus wallet. We're going to go down to Ethermine, US East, because that's where I'm from. Then we're going to go to Miner, and we're going to go down to NB Miner. And we have version 39.0. So we're going to apply the changes. We'll name this the RTX LHR hack. And we'll create the flight sheet. All right, so we'll go back to workers. We will choose this worker. All right, so we're going to go to flight sheets. And then we're gonna choose the one we just created, which is this one, and hit the rocket ship. For mining Ethereum, not on high volume pool, more than one rig, okay. I don't have more than one rig, so I don't have anything to worry about. 
Again, this is just a secondary farm for testing. So currently we don't have any clocks set on this at all. So right here it says I have the NVIDIA driver 460.84. So I'm hoping that it'll work on this. I don't know if it will. Well, it's registering, so that's good. Give it a minute to start up and we'll see what's going on. All right, so that's good news. With zero clocks, we have 45 mega hash. And with the 3060 Ti, we have 32. So now what I'm gonna do is minor actions. I'm gonna stop the miner. I guess realistically, these only get around 43 or so. And 45's on the high end when you actually clock it. And again, we haven't clocked anything, so. That's good news, at least it has promise of working because even the 3060 is at 35 now. That's interesting. All right, so we stopped the miner. So now let's add some clocks. We'll do the 3070 first. So we're gonna go minus 200. The 3070, I'm gonna put 2100 on the memory because that's 1050 times two because you basically double it for Linux versus Windows when you're doing memory. I'll put the fan at 80% and I'll put the power limit. We were at 200, so I guess let's see. We'll apply the changes. The 3060 Ti will do negative 200 as well on the core clock. And we will try the absolute core clocks after this. I just want to see what this does. Uh, we had 1100 on the memory, if I'm not mistaken, so let's do 2200. Because again, it's double. We'll do 80 on the fan. And the power limit, I'm gonna put to 130 because that's basically where it was in the software. Just like this was just at 200. So now what we're going to do is restart the miner. And let's see how these clocks take. I'm just super curious to see if this actually gets close to where Windows did. And again, I'm using the 460.84 driver. So the Lower NVIDIA driver is actually not specific to a certain driver. You just need a lower one underneath the 471 or whatever it was. Look at that. Less work and this actually got it exactly to the same level. Uh, just about. I guess I had about 51 in the 3070 and I think it was right around 40 for the 3060. This is also still booting up, so let's see where it ends up. All right, so it's been a minute or two, and we have 52.8 on the 3070, which is good. And we have 39.55 on the 3060, so that's also good. All right, so let's give the absolute core clock a shot. Let's do 885. That's what I'm running on my other ones. I'll apply that, and this core will do 1430. That's what I have on my other 3060 Ti's. Then what I'm going to do is restart the miner. And we're going to see what comes of it. I have a feeling I'll probably end up putting it back to negative 200 on both. But if it gets better with the absolute core clocks, why not? Let's get into the remote access and we will check out the actual physical miner. All right, we're here in the miner. As you can see, 21 mega hash and 51. <laughs> That's not doing good. So absolute core clock doesn't seem to like this NV miner. Let's give it one more uh, round and we'll just see, just for the hell of it. I have a feeling I'm gonna have to go back to negative 200 on the core clock on each. Yeah, we're gonna go back to negative 200. So I'm gonna exit out of this and I'm gonna stop the miner. Then I'm gonna change this back to negative 200 Apply, change this one back to negative 200. Apply, gonna restart the miner and let's go into the actual miner itself. All right, starting up NB miner inside Hive OS with negative 200 for the core clocks. Just so you guys know, I will leave these clocks down in the description below so you can just copy them right into Hive OS. And please reference my other video that I just dropped yesterday for the Windows clocks. If you guys don't understand the uh, doubling and cutting in half memory. All right, so we have 51 and 40. Not too shabby. So I think negative 200 is going to be the way to go. Um, what I'm going to do is on Wednesday, hump day hashing, 
I want to add the 3080 Ti to the mix and I want to try it inside this NV miner to see what we can get for hash rate. Let's see if it's any better than uh, what it currently does in Hive on other miners. So if you guys are interested in that, please leave it in the comments below. Let me know if you want me to do that. And then obviously we can adjust these clocks. You guys want to give me suggestions in the live chat. I have no problem putting core clocks in, memory clocks, whatever you guys want to do. I'm down for it. So let me know if you guys want that done. But I guess our job here is done. ND Miner clearly works inside Hive OS now. I just showed you guys how to create the flight sheet. If you have any questions, you can join our Misfit Mining Discord. Plenty of people to help you in there. But yeah, with that said, guys, I appreciate you all for watching. Please stay safe, and I'll see you guys real soon.